Greetings fellow cooks and welcome to uh, Dr. Flavor. Uh, I'm Marceline Alberni and I am going to be cooking today something that I absolutely enjoy. It's a perfect summertime dish. Are you ready for this? Tomato pie. You're going to love it. Right here, right now on Dr. Flavor. Okay, so very simple ingredients for a very simple dish. Uh, some mayonnaise, some honey mustard, a little black pepper, a little garlic salt. I want, I got a little bit of uh, basil from my garden, fresh basil. Um, we're going to use some uh, Colby Jack cheese. Parmesan cheese, uh, nice fresh uh, tomatoes. These are local tomatoes. We're going to use uh, a, a pie crust, and uh, and let's get it rolling. Okay, so as you see, uh, sliced up these uh, tomatoes. Uh, these are not overly ripened tomatoes. These are uh, just fine. Uh, I don't want to get overly ripened tomatoes because they're going to get all gooey when I cook them. So a little firmness is always good. So I'm going to put on a little bit of a little honey mustard on the shell. We're just going to move it around and cover the bottom and a little bit on the side. Perfect. So, alright, so at that point, at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch. And I'm putting a little cornstarch on it because as, as the pie heats up, the tomato is going to start cooking and I wanted to keep a little bit of a, I wanted to get a little bit creamy rather than just simply watery. So I'm going to put a little bit of cornstarch on it, move it around, and I'm going to put them face down. on the shell. Perfect. So, the next part is going to be a little garlic salt on top of it. Right? And black pepper. Perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add 
some mayonnaise. And spread it all around for completion. Okay, so I spread out the mayo on top of that. Now I'm going to drop the basil. Nice fresh basil. Love it. So, and then on top of this, we're gonna, we're gonna put on the cheese, the Colby cheese. So we got the uh, oven uh, going at uh, 375 degrees. I expect to cook this for about half an hour, but I don't have this uh, recipe written down, so as well as I can recall, it's about half an hour, but we'll see. And I should write things down. My wife is correct, but I will. I'm going to start doing that. Anyway, so, well, that was the, uh, the oven. The oven is ready. So at, at this point, I'm going to start putting a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top of that. Beautiful. So now it goes in the oven. Okay, fellow cooks, voila! This is the finished product. I'm letting it cool off a little bit. It actually was in the oven for about 35 minutes. Uh, so it, it has perfect color. So we're going to let it cool off a little bit and then we're going to cut it and then we're going to taste it. Okay, folks, gorgeous. This is it. All right, so not to break everything up, I'm just going to work on cutting up a little bit. If you don't cut just right, the tomatoes will actually break up as expected. So let's taste this. This is fantastic. So simple summer dish. You can't get better than this. Simple tomatoes, um, heirloom tomatoes uh, might actually uh, work better with uh, less water, but other than that, this is fantastic. So once again, I want to encourage you to try this recipe. It's very simple, as I described. Uh, and, uh, you know, if you haven't uh, uh, subscribed to the channel, please do and uh, you know share the the videos with uh, people that you know people that you care about so once again this is marceline alberni your dr flavor signing off